Hey everyone, this is Ben. And we are in the middle of a thunderstorm. Um, we just got a heavy downpour of rain. And the reason why I am standing in the middle of the rain because I am testing out the new rain jackets from Light Turtle. And you may hear some thunder and may see some lightning in the background, but I don't advise you to be standing in the middle of the thunderstorm. All right, folks, we just got done having some heavy rain, a little bit of hail, and the, well, as you can see, we just got some, uh, I know this is pretty dangerous. We're standing out. Yeah, we're standing outside in the middle of a thunderstorm with lightning and rain. Hey everyone, this is Ben, and thank you for joining us on the Semper Gumby channel. Well, in this episode, we are gonna be talking about windbreakers or rain jackets because, you know, this is the middle of February. We've had a pretty mild winter. I mean, we've had our days where we had negative, <laughs> negative 10 degree, um, temperatures but it was only for about a week um, and we had just one heavy snow event but as we transition into March or April you know we're gonna be facing that wet weather you know rain and, and stuff like that in fact it is raining all weekend so we did not go camping uh, this weekend we've got a lot of preps to do on the camper because as many of you know, I don't know if you saw my previous video, but we've got to get this thing ready to go and set up to head to Florida here in a couple weeks. So today we're gonna to be talking about rain jackets or windbreakers. And today's video is sponsored by Light Turtle. Um, when I heard the name, I kind of laughed because I've never heard of Light Turtle until they reached out to me about two weeks ago and asked me if I was interested in doing a review on two of their rain jackets or windbreakers. And I said, sure, why not? I've never heard of them. So we want to thank Light Turtle for sending us two jackets. Uh, one is for light running or golfing and the other one is for hiking or backpacking. So let's go check them out. Now the thing that stands out with the light turtle jackets or the material they say that the fabric that they use their three layer composite uh, fabric is that the outside is a outer 100% uh, nylon layer and then the middle of the jacket is 100% polyurethane barrier and then the back of the jacket is 100% nylon and they ensure that you're geared up against the toughest elements and then because of that combo, it delivers a powerhouse of windproof, waterproof, and breathability. And it makes it the most, I guess, advanced, go-to, lightweight, packable rain jacket. Now, all of their jacket boasts an adjustable draw cord hood. Uh, it's a guardian against rain and wind. It has elastic horseshoe cuffs. And when I put it on, I was like, wow, this is, this is pretty neat. Because when you use you know, a lot of rain jackets, and a lot of it drips down your wrist, but with this new uh, Guardian uh, elastic horseshoe cuff, it channels the water away. And then the hem's elastic rope seals keeps the warmth in, and it keeps your uh, wrist or hand, you know, your wrist actually pretty dry and comfy. Now let's check out the jacket. Um, when I opened up the jacket, you know, the first thing I noticed that it was really lightweight and um, it is that was something I really liked because I could fold up really small put it into my backpack or put it into my um, EDC bag or leave it into my camper um, somewhere that when I go down to Florida or I can leave one in my truck um, even as in the uh, side of the door now the zippers on these things are pretty amazing you know when you most of the time when you get jackets or windbreakers the zippers are just uh, a normal zipper but this thing has some kind of coating on there um, 
you know, like a waterproof coating. So when it rains, uh, the water does not seep through. I don't know um, if this GoPro would give you a really good look at it, but um, that's what I was really impressed of. It has two zippers, um, you know, one where you can unzip from the bottom um, and go up or one from the top to go down. Um, the zippers are pretty sturdy. I've had jackets and windbreakers where the zippers have ripped or come apart on the seams and they seem to be really reinforced, um, double seamed or double sewn. The big thing I like about it is the compact size. I mean, you know, I could just now, I just rolled it up into a, a, a size of my hand And this jacket does not feel cheap. You know, when you look at windbreakers and they get wet, you can feel the water th uh, that soaks through. Now, like I said, this thing has three different layers. It has, you know, the nylon, the polyurethane, and that breathable frab uh, fabric. So it does not soak through. The adaptive rain jacket also has two pockets, one on the side here on, on left and right. They're pretty deep. And these are the only two pockets that you have on the jacket, um, but they are very deep. I mean, these are probably one of the deepest pockets I've had on a jacket. And uh, they do not have any pockets on the inside and um, that's fine. I don't need a whole lot of pockets. Now, another cool feature on this jacket is this little section here. When water runs down your arm, it, uh, it doesn't get into or underneath your, uh, under the jacket. It just uh, flows down your arm and uh, flows the water away. And that is uh, a really cool feature. Now I just put this on, it's about 60 degrees in the garage. And I, I am not sweating in this jacket. It's actually pretty breathable. So the adaptive rain jacket, I will go ahead and put the links in the description below. But we are gonna check out the Free Spirit rain jacket. Now this jacket is a lot different than this one because this one has a zipper that goes down the middle. Um, this one is built a little bit different. Now this one you could use for uh, golfing and hiking as well, but it is built a little bit different. So let's go check this one out. So this is the Free Spirit Rain Jacket by Light Turtle. It is built with the same material as the Adaptive Rain Jacket. But the difference is as you can see, the zipper comes out from the side and you have a pouch uh, in the middle. Okay, so right off the bat, the zipper does not go down the middle like the adaptive rain jacket. It comes out from the side. Uh, the hood does have the same drawstring in the back from the, uh, to the rear of the head, but it does not have a stowaway pouch. Uh, the material is the same. It is a three layer. Um, it is the same breathable material. So let's go ahead and put this on and see. This is my first jacket that I've had a zipper that comes off from the side coming up. So it was a little weird, but I guess I could get used to it. I think the reason for that is because it has a pouch here, like a kangaroo. <laughs> now, I know what the reason for that is. Um, if you use this for golfing, uh, you can keep your, your golf uh, cards or anything like this in here. If you're using this for hiking, uh, you can keep your maps, your compasses, your GPS, and your items in here. And this is a pretty deep pocket. So having your uh, pouch in here, so I can see why the zipper would come from the side. So um, 
Now I get it. Now the pockets do not have a do not have a zipper on each side. So you access your pockets and they continuous go right through. So unlike the adaptive rain jacket, this is more less like a uh, I would say like a some of the pockets like on a hood a hooded sweatshirt. But you do get that uh, pouch here. Um, it does not go through, so you have the compartment here that's separate. I really like both jackets. Um, I like that one for, you know, where I can pack the hood away, but that's not a, that's not really a, a con, but I like this one because I can store stuff in the pouch. You know, and like I said, I, the, the pouch is big enough because I can store stuff in here like my drone batteries. I've got three drone batteries that I can store in the pouch. I can store my Sony ZX-1 digital camera. I can store my drone controller. Store my wallet. I can store my GoPro. I can store my EDC flashlight. And I can store my drone. And I can actually store my 100 pound German sh No, not really. But I can store all of that, plus a little bit more, if I didn't, if I wasn't so fat, in my pocket here, a little pouch. So, I mean, that's just amazing. Check it out. That's quite a bit of items to have in your jacket. And if I had a backpack, I could store more stuff in there. So I think if it's uh, cool, the temperatures are, are, are nice and cool, or if it's um, drizzling, I think I'm gonna wear this over at the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo uh, this year. So man, I'm pretty impressed with actually both jackets. And Hoku, what do you think about these jackets? Huh? <laughs> oh, you like this one. <laughs> these jackets are great for hiking, running, uh, backpacking, anything outdoors. Um, you know, if you're going camping, um, check them out. I highly recommend them. Again, thank you to Light Turtle for uh, sending this for a test and review. Um, and uh, you got any questions? please pop them in the comments below. So if you're interested of seeing some of the equipment that I take on my outdoor adventures and you're near the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo or the Moore Expo coming up, feel free to stop at the Semker Gumby Channel uh, spot and you're more than welcome to come and talk to us and I'll show, be happy to show you what we got and how it operates and grab yourself a decal or a t-shirt or come see us. We're gonna close out this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, it don't cost nothing. Just hit that subscribe button uh, right down there or there, or uh, you see the little subscribe thing going on. Um, be sure to like and comment because that helps the channel out a lot. Be sure to check out our Patreon page and on Wednesday, we will be announcing the winners of uh, our Amazon gift card giveaway on our Patreon channel. So I also want to give a huge thank out to everyone who donated to the National Center of Exploited uh, Missing Children um, uh, Fund. Uh, we are over halfway uh, to our goal. And I was blown away to see some of you who 
donated. I mean, it is uh, unbelievable. It's going to a good cause. Um, I'll put that link in there too. Um, thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But anyway, uh, check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, um, and we'll catch you on the next video. This is Semper Gumby out.